Hello friends in this video tutorial, we are going to make autocomplete text box in Laravel 8 framework by using Type Ahead JavaScript library. Type Ahead is a bootstrap library which we will use in Laravel framework for autocomplete search and by using Type Ahead JavaScript we can display search result from database so from that suggestion user can select option. We have divided this tutorial under this 1 to 11 step, so we will give you step by step guide for how to implement auto search or auto complete search feature in our Laravel application. Now let's start discussing this topic. So, this is our testing database, and under this database, we will make user table, and then after we will insert fake data under that table for make auto complete search feature. In step 1 we have to download and install latest version of Laravel framework. So for this, we have go to command prompt and run this command. This command will first create type ahead autocomplete directory and then after download and install latest version of Laravel framework. This process will take some time. So in first step we have download latest version of Laravel framework. In second step, we have to make database connection under this Laravel application. So here we have open Laravel application in text editor and for make database connection, we have open .environment file. Under this file, we have define MySQL database configuration like host is equal to local host, database is equal to testing, username is equal to root and password is equal to blank. So it will make database connection. So in second step, we have make database connection. In third step, we have to create user table under MySQL database. So here in text editor, when we have download Laravel framework, then it by default create user model and user table migration file, which we can see under text editor. So we do not need to create any migration file for create user table. So we have directly go to command prompt and run this command. This command will create users table in testing database. Now we have go testing database and here we can see users table has been created under testing database. So in third step, we have create user table in MySQL database. In step 4, we want to insert fake data in user table. So for generate fake records, we have go to database folder and open seeders folder and from this folder, we have open database cedar.php file. Under this file, first we want to import user models class, so here we have write this PHP code. After this, we have go to run method, and under this, we have write user class, with factory method, with 100 as argument, and after this we have write create method. So this code will insert fake data in user table. Now we want to execute this code. So in command prompt, we have run this command. So this command will execute database cedar class run method, which will insert fake data in user table. Now we have go to user table, and here we can see that fake data has been inserted in users table. So in step 4, we have generate fake data. In step 5, we have to create controller class. So for create controller class, we have go to command prompt and run this command. This command will create type ahead autocomplete controller class. For open controller class, we have go to app folder and under this, we have go to HTTP folder. And under this we have go to controller folder. And here we have seen type ahead auto complete controller class file. So we have opened this file. 
and under this first, we want to import user model class, so here we have write this PHP code. So under this step, we have create controller class. In step 6, we want to create index method, under type ahead auto complete controller class. So for this, we have go to controller class, and here we have create index method. This is root method of this controller class. Under this method, we have write return view method, and under this, we have write type ahead auto complete. So it will load type ahead autocomplete.blade.php view file in browser. So under this step, we have create index method in controller class. In step 7, we want to create blade view file. So here, we have already created blade view file under resources slash views folder. So here we have open type ahead autocomplete.blade.php file. Under this file, we have already imported bootstrap for library, jQuery library and bootstrap type ahead javascript library link. Under this file, we want to make search text box, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to user name, id is equal to user name. We will implement auto complete search feature on this text box. Now we have go to JavaScript code part, and here we have write, path variable is equal to, Laravel expression, and between this, we have write URL method, and under this, we have write type ahead autocomplete slash action. Below this, we have write dollar with text box id user name, with type ahead method. This method will initialize type ahead plugin on this text box. Under this, we have write source option, with callback function, with two argument like query and process, this is the backing data source for suggestion. Under this function, we have write return statement with $.get method, and under this method, we have write path variable, in second data argument, we have write query variable, and in third argument, we have write callback function with data argument. This method will send Ajax request to PHP script for fetch data from database and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this method, we have write return statement with process method and under this we have write data as argument. It will display auto complete suggestion below text box. So under this step, we have make view blade file. In step 8, we want to create action method under controller class. For this, we have go to controller class, and here we have make action method with request variable as argument. This method will receive Ajax request. Under this method, we have write dollar request variable with all method. So here all data has been stored under this dollar data variable. Now we want to get query variable value. So here we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar data query variable. So here query variable value, which has been sent from Ajax request has been stored under this dollar query variable. Below this, we have write dollar filter data variable is equal to user class with select method with name table column as argument. After this, we have add where method with three argument. In first argument, we have write name table column name. In second argument, we have write like statement. And in third argument, we have write percentage sign, and between this, we have write dollar query variable. This method will add search where condition under this select query, 
and lastly, we have write get method, so this method will execute select query, and return query execution result in array format, which we have store under this dollar filter data variable. Lastly under this method, we have write return statement, with response method, with JSON method, and under this, we have write dollar filter data variable, so it will send data to AJAX request in JSON format. So under this step, we have make action method, and under this controller class. In step 9, we want to set routes for controller all method. For this, we have go to routes folder, and here we have open web.php file. Under this file, first we want to import type ahead auto complete controller class, so for this, we have write this PHP code. After this, for set route for index method, we have write route class with get method, and in first option, we have write slash type ahead auto complete, and in second argument we have write array. In array first index, we have write type ahead autocomplete controller class, and in second index we have write index method, so it will set route for index method. Same way we want to set route for action method, so here we have write route class with get method, and in first argument, we have write type ahead autocomplete slash action, and in second argument, we have write array. And in array first index, we have write type ahead autocomplete controller class, and in second argument, we have write action. After this, we have write name method. Under this method, we have write type ahead autocomplete dot action method. So this code will set route for action method. So under this step, we have set route for controller method. In step 10, we want to start development server for check output in browser. So for start Laravel development server, we have go to command prompt and run this command. This command will start Laravel development server. After starting of server, it will provide us base URL of our Laravel application. So under this step, we have learned how to start Laravel development server. In step 11, we have to check output in browser. This is the final step of this tutorial. So for check output in browser, we have go to browser and first enter base URL, and then after we have type slash type ahead autocomplete. So here on web page, we can see that one text box has been display. Now we want to check autocomplete feature is working or not, so for this, we have type character in text box, so at below text box, we can see that auto suggestion search result has been display, in which that type character is present. When we have type more character, then auto suggestion search result has been changed, which we can see on web page. So from this search suggestion user can select their option. So friends lastly, under this video tutorial, we have learned you, how to implement, autocomplete search functionality in Laravel 8 application, by using type ahead library, with MySQL database. Additionally, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box, if you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also, and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial.